been a little bit different for me since joining. This is my second year and predominantly most of my fishing has been sort of on park lakes and urban venues. Fishing a, a water like this, I really didn't know what to expect. But to be honest, I've really enjoyed my time on you so far. Um, I've had a few fish and just kept things simple. And it's been good. Been having a good, uh, good few sessions. I've managed to get a few fish now. I think I caught 12 fish last year. And I think I'm on 14 this year. So nothing major, but I'm just plodding along doing my thing, catching a few fish. Was, was rewarded with a, a nice 40 pounder um, the end of last season in, in September. Just, just keeping things simple really, um, finding the clear spots in the weed, uh, the, the fish tend to hold up in, in the large weed beds so what I generally tend to, tend to do is I, I'll find the, the clear areas as close as I can to the main, the main weed beds where the fish are holding up and I'll, I'll spot sort of between 10 and 15 spot loads of bait big big mixture of sort of maggots, hemp, sweet corn, uh, different size boilies, crushed boilies, mix it all together so it's a big pick and mix and just spawn it, spawn it out there just to get everything stirred up, get the tension, get the silver fish in and then I normally find the, the carp will always bully them out just because of the the activity going on in the swim so the rigs are pretty simple uh, the rigs I use are uh, generally a blowback rig um, on a on a long shank Fang X um, inline setup, which just drops off. And um, I always use a, a cultured up bait, a, a scope X grid cultured up bait. Dead, dead simple, nothing fancy. Um, just making sure I'm on the fish and. Um, making sure that rig is presented with a, a good hard donk um, with an inline setup. Don't really want to be landing on sort of silkweed or, or deep silt. It's, it's got to land with a, a firm hard donk, otherwise I'm not confident. Another tactic that I use on, on farriers is the weed rake. I use a, a five ounce weed rake with a spod rod just to clear off the spots because um, I'm quite I'm quite fussy when I fish as a lot of people have noticed <laughs> um, and I, I just like to have that touchdown especially with the four ounce inline leads I like them to land with a good hard donk and I want to know it's clear so I'll always when I, when I arrive in a swim I'll always get there a good few hours before bike time and I'll just give it a good old hour, maybe two hours raking. Um, and also the path between my rods and the spot, I'll clear any weed in between me and that spot, just so I can get that line, get that line lay under the water surface, just get it out of the way of any, any birds or fish coming past. I don't want, I don't want weed kept going up and then and then back down to the spot. Quite fussy really, but what I have noticed is you spend two hours raking out that swim and within 10 minutes the fish arrive. It's as if they, they cannot resist investigating. It's like curiosity killed the cat. And I'm stood there with the sweat pouring off me, working hard, casting out this, this five ounce weed rake over and over again. People think I'm a maniac, 
but it works. The fish come in straight away. They home in on it because they, they just need to know what's going on. So then put a bit of bait in around, around the area and it, it generally has been paying off. Uh, the, the fish do come in and they have a look, they have a little feed. It's a good little tactic, just, just raking out your swim. Don't be put off by spooking the fish. Cameraman Paul was just about to pack up and leave with all the cameras packed away. Uh, didn't think it was going to happen. I've had fish bubbling up on me all morning. It just just ripped off. As, you know, as it goes, sod's law. Last knock-ins. Got myself a 31 pound Barrier's Belter. Absolutely buzzing. Cracker. came for. Spot on. Proper farrier's chunk. <laughs> 